Yun. Hi guys, so how are you to find out? Hindi, joke lang. Shit, call ni ng joke ko. Anyway, so guys, so we have another video again. Ah, uh, kainis tong music na to. So meron tayo ulit video uh, tutorial. So this time, uh, I'll share with you guys yung your some tips, no? Uh, on how to farm runes, no? Lang, hinahin lang natin to. So, may sabi kayo, guys. Uh, are we still enjoying the game? So, wala. So, relax lang. Kasi, you'll get there. No, punti-punti lang. So, yun. So, for this content, uh, uh, guys, so, I'll, siguro, I'll share with you some tips, no, and tricks on how to farm runes fast, no? Uh, siguro three things. How to farm runes fast, what, second, what runes should we keep or sell, and the third one is how to run your monsters, no? So, first, siguro, uh, I'll just show you my uh, set of runes, no, for each monster. So, this is my rune for uh, for lapis uh, so yeah. so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 no siguro ano lang muna an overview of uh, runes no this is my rune for signorus so 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is my uh, Set of runes for Verad. 3, 4, 5, 6. This is my rune for uh, Bareta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My rune for... Uh, as you can see, no? So, we're dealing uh, hindi pa nakamax yung runes. No? So, hopefully, uh, max ko rin siya in time. So, this is the set of runes I have for Loren. Actually, guys, these are all farmable runes, no? Believe it or not, uh, I acquired all of these runes from farming giant beating and finishing the challenges, no, the missions, no? Vayo, yeah. So, ito. Kung nagtataka kayo kung paano ako kung nakakuha ng Vayo, actually, this is uh, a reward, no? When, once you finish the dragon beating in auto mode without destroying any crystal so this is my rune for crow this is my rune for basal and this is my rune for mal so far uh, I can say na, na very effective naman so far very efficient kasi I was able to progress fast in the game no so for example uh, ayan. so i already played this game for 19 days and i was able to reach the finish the toa normal 100 and right now i'm currently working on my toa hard 79 floor so i'm f2 fighter 2 and so yeah so pakita ko lang muna sa inyo so first one, siguro yung how to farm rooms. Siguro as beginners, what I want you to do is to focus farming or uh, building your GB10 team. So, oops, nilagay ko lang dyan si Mavs kasi pinapadevel up ko siya. Pero usually, ito yung run ko talaga dyan. So, guys, kasi I noticed, uh, ang daming mga uh, new new or new game or new uh, new game or new mga returning returning players so dahil nga sa 6th anniversary na sa mga sword so sobrang dami ng rewards guys sobrang dami uh, uh, for example mga rewards na pwede makatulong in so, actually, I made I don't know if you can see what I'm doing So, so far, I've already accumulated 500 coins And ito yung mga 
Nakuha ko na. Ayan. So, inuli ko na yung ancient coin. Although, ang gusto ko makuha dito is yung light and free. Pero, hindi naman hindi matter kung kukunin ko siya agad. No? Kasi, since hanggang dito naman yung event, so, medyo madali ka. So, dyan lang muna siya. So, I already, uh, I got, or I, I almost finished na yung, yung shop na. So, yun. So, yeah. So, medyo mabago nang kung parang yung GB10 na to. Pero, effective naman siya and efficient. So, initially guys, dito lang ako yung mabagag. Siguro everyday. For example, after I finish my initial na daily meeting. So, mag-iaran na ako ng GB10. Siyempre, do not forget your arena, your guild. Uh, yung turns nyo dyan sa guild and also do not forget yung sa labyrinth and for example yung sa dimensional hobby so another time guys sorry na play ko pero yung last na to tas ito yung mga uh, paano ba dapat hamilin yung turns nyo so parang yung hali lang sabi ah pero guys, madali lang to kasi uh, when I read the comment uh, section, uh, may mga comment, for example, or in sa FB page na parang how did I able to acquire all these rooms, no? So, just to tell you honestly guys, hindi never found the masters dito sa account ko. Okay. No. So, lahat ng to ay pahagap ng pangihip uh, lahat na pero hindi na ito ay guys kasi natutulog pa rin naman ako pero most of the time babad lang talaga siya sa GB10 kasi yun na naman talaga yun so far for the video kasi ito lang yung tayo ng ball na mabilis kasi pag nag-farm ka sa dragon dito and using this set of team set of monsters I think hindi hindi siya ideal no. so there is a higher chance uh, na yung team uh, may bibitin ng no, the dragon kasi yung yung unit effect plus the continuous damage of the red crystal and the dragon are all too much for the universe so then guys what I wanted to do is to focus on your giant so Tatanin ko kayo guys, ang nalabas dito na rune ay 4 tips back for 4 seconds. Ayan, pasuin natin. So guys, obviously 5 star rune siya. So, sell yan, no? Actually, alam nyo ba, the very reason why kung ba't ganito yung sequence, no? Giant skip. Dragon Slayer and Necropolis kasi guys look if you are in giant beaten look at the set of runes that you can acquire so you have Despair, Energy, Phaeton, Blade and Swift no? ang gusto natin makuha dyan syempre yung Swift, yung Blade pati yung Phaeton no? kasi yun yung mga gagamit natin these are the runes that we will be using for Hamerus, Kuro, Fran, Loren, Arawak no? kasi guys why pero number one is Swift why Swift? Kasi diba, when we uh, give our monsters with sweep runes, then our monsters will become faster. And the faster they are, the more that we can farm the dragon P10. Kasi guys, how can we match the speed of the dragon if our monsters are too slow? So, kaya siya ganun. Kaya, okay masyadong magamadali. No? Usually level 10 level siya. So sabi ko nga sa inyo, you just have to take your time. And when you, di ba? And then kapag okay na, if you can farm the DV10 in auto mode, look guys, what are the things that we can get from this uh, stage, from this dungeon. Siyempre ang gusto natin makuha dyan is yung Violent Rune. No? And Violent Runes provide uh, extra turns. No? The more turns we have, the better. Kasi we can... Uh, destroy as fast as possible yung shield nung boss dun sa necropolis the more that our attacks will land effectively tama guys so yun eh, but right now syempre ito pa ops hindi yan sigaro 
Ito yung set of masters na ginagamit ko, nilalaran ko for Dragon B-Deck. And dun ako sa stage na kung saan sinisira ko pa yung Red Crystal. Kasi yung damage nila are not enough yet no, to auto to ito sa Dragon. So yun lang guys, how to farm runes. Simple lang siya guys. Diba? For example sa energy. For example, nalagyan natin ng rune si Loren. Siyempre, ang gusto natin ibigay na rune kay Loren, as much as possible, less crit rate, less crit damage, but more on resistance and accuracy. Kasi kailangan natin, kailangan ng resist ni Loren is yung mga harmful effects. So that he could land, every time she attacks, yung defense break, tsaka yung attack bar decrease. No? Kaya, Medyo mataas na rin ito, resistance XT, pero ang target ko kahit mga 75 or 80. Accuracy is okay na rin, but sometimes, Lauren, sometimes, no, failed to land yung defense break, tsaka yung attack slow speed. Nakakainis yun. No. Siyempre, kapag groom. So, yan. Titignan natin, siyempre, ang una natin gusto makuha, di ba, yung 2, 4, 6. And usually, yung mga percentage, di ba? So, Actually, si Loren, ito na speed, HP, HP. Gusto natin yung mga substats ay, for example, yan din, resistance, defense, and speed. So, pwede siya. So, actually, itong HP na to, pwede siyang i-re-appraise. No? Ito yung mga pwede natin i-re-appraise eh. Kaya lang wala pa akong i-re-appraise stone. Kasi I think, hindi naman accurate na may HP percent tayo at as tapos may crit rate and crit damage what we hunt here is pwedeng accuracy pwedeng speed or pwedeng H uh, pwedeng hmm, resistance no? so yun yung mga pwede natin makuha so yun yung mga tip pero as for beginners siguro kahit hindi tugma yung, for example, yung main stat din sa substance, okay lang. Basta percentage, tagi na na lang muna. Kasi magagamit niya. No? So, ayan. For fatal naman, for example, ito siguro. Tingnan niyo yung, for each room, laging merong, hopefully, like, ito walang great trait. Pero, meron naman siyang accuracy ng 22%. So, hindi ko pwedeng, iba, yung wala yun yan. Kasi, crow needs, more accuracy, no? In order for him to land yung branding effect. At nang pero, ang gusto natin makuha usually sa fatal is yung, yan, usually yung creep rate, attack percent, hmm, ano pa ba? Creep damage, speed, no? Kung may speed, okay yan. Pwede nyo itali yan. For example, ito, ah, guys, ah, wag yan, speed yan, attack. So, diba? Parang defense, flat defense, HP percent, accuracy per rate. Hmm, pwede. Muna siyang itago dahil dun sa attack percent na nasa two, number 2 slot. Pero pwede rin siyang i-reappraise kasi parang ang pangit. Parang hindi siya accurate na may attack percent dun sa taas. Tapos may yeah. siguro kung mas gaganda ito kung merong crit damage or crit rate. Diba guys? So, yun lang naman. No, yung mga tips. So, usually gano'n. Usually, how to run your monsters. Dapat bigyan nyo sila ng rooms. You have to give them rooms that will make them more efficient. Or rooms that will maximize their skills. For example, syempre obvious naman si Sigma Rose. No? So, kailangan ng actually usually guys ah, pag atake is sa akin tatandaan ang target crit rate natin is 80 pataas no, kasi para every time the monster crits malalang yung crit damage for example ito si Kro so obviously kulang pa yung crit rate ni Kro pero I'm still working on it na siguro pag nagka uh, refraid ako if I can do refraid level 5 so I can enhance these runes pa, no? especially the crit rate percentages. So, yun. And, um, ano ba ba? So, usually, gano'n. So, basta kapag attacker, so, usually, ang inaano natin, crit rate and crit damage. For example, ito si Fran, no? 
So far, siya yung fastest zero in my team. 95, pero naka-value rin siya. Tapos, ayun, OG. Look, guys. Yung yun yung 1, 2, 6, 5, and 4 naka-max. Pero, I am doubtful na i-max tong number 3. First, because in the future, I want Fran to be in Vio and uh, tawag dito. Vio and Will. So, actually, ito yung tinukuha ko sa dun sa event. And the other one is the violent room. So, yan yung dilawang kinuha ko dun sa event. No, di ba sabi, we have two rooms that we can have from the event. So, yun yung dilawang kinuha ko. Kaya lang doubtful. Although, sayo yung speed. Pwede rin naman siya, pero pwede ko siya nga i-appraise. Pero nahinaya kasi ako dun sa speed na 11. Siguro kung i-re-appraise ko siya kapag ang lumabas sa same speed tapos may accuracy or kahit mapalitan ng attack percent or defense percent okay sana siya pero dahil bakit yung substats niya speed lang yung nagpaganda so hindi ko muna siya i-max so ganun lang yun guys for example ito ito bakit siguro you would notice ito oh, bakit siya naka blade room Yes guys, ako actually ang gusto ko rin dito is despair and energy. Ang parang mas maging tanky, at least for myself. Tanky kahit pa paano si Barreta. But since I lack the number 6 slot HP and accuracy, so yun na lang muna yung nilagay ko. Kasi sayang yung speed natin, no? HP percent. So sayang siya guys. And then accuracy. Because I need also Barreta to have a high accuracy in order for him to land his second first and third skill because all these three skills are very important for him especially if you use this monster in DOA so yun lang naman guys so sorry kung medyo magulo but right now I'm currently working on my update lang on my DOA 780 Actually guys, hirap ang hirap ako dito kay Artangel. So, I'm always finding some combinations, no? Pero, so far, palagi pa rin natatalo. Look at the third skill of Artangel, yung passive niya. It's too much. Tapos kasama niya dito si Wind Monkey King, tsaka si Light Yeti. So, every time you attack, nag- nag-activate yung passive nila. Ang dali nilang namamatay, guys. So, hopefully, matapos ko siya by 20 days, no? Hmm, but so far, ang ginagawa ko ngayon, guys, is I'm farming mana stones. Dito lang sa Jubiden. Minsan, nasa Dragon. Eh. So, yun lang naman yun, guys. Uh, medyo magulang nga tayo mga sinabi ko, no? Pero kung nagustuhan niyo yung video, uh, leave a comment please and please do not forget to subscribe. No? Comment nyo na kung ano yung gusto nyo yung content natin dun sa susunod na video. So yun lang guys, and please do not forget plastic. Enjoy lang sa game. No? Guys, update lang din. Nandito na ako sa mga tlo, but I'm very pissed up. Nandito sa... Yan, sa hard clear or stage and labyrinth. Kahit anong gawin ko guys. Hindi ko matalo ito. Asin. Ayan. Nakarating ako sa first, second. Pero pag natin dito sa boss stage, wala na guys. Natutulog na lang yung team ko. Hindi na mo nagigising. So, sobrang epic niya. So, nagigising ako pa guys kung ano yung mga, mga ganyan strategies. Baka meron din kayo alam or advice or baka may marami akong maling ginawa dito. So, please comment nyo lang din para at least maayos ko at mabago ko. So, kailangan ko rin yung for my progression. And hopefully, ganyan din kayo guys. So, again, please do not forget to enjoy. So, yun lang guys. Medyo mahaba na itong video. So, bye. Takit sa'yo sa susunod.